like, I need to vent <laughs> about life because life is life in. And it's like, again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Megan Yvonne. If you're new, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to the family. So today's video is going to be all about self-care. Right now, we have so much going on, especially with the holidays. And I realized, having worked in mental health for a pretty long time, I realized that a lot of times this is a time and a space where more people are susceptible to a seasonal depression or just depression in general. They either have lost family members or loved ones or they have strained familial relationships. So I figured like this would be the perfect time to do like a self-care routine self-care tips list. So like one of the things that I think is important is taking care of yourself. I always tell people be an advocate for yourself, you know, whether that's in your health or whether that's just in life in general, right? But self-care is, you know, like when we think of it, it's a buzzword. We hear so many people talking about it. Self-care this, self-care that. But self-care is really at the heart of it, things that I myself care about. So let me tell you some things that I like to do. Journaling is so therapeutic for me because it allows me to just take some time to just like get out of my own head, get, get those thoughts pen to paper and really write out everything that I'm feeling in the moment, things that I want to accomplish in the moment. And it just really helps, right? Um, I write down maybe goals. Sometimes I write down my goals. Sometimes that's all my entry is about. And other times it's uh, like my prayers. And then other times it's just simply, you know, like, uh, I need to decompress. I need to like, I need to vent <laughs> about life because life is life in. And it's like, Again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> right, so I think it's a really great way to just like get your zen back and center yourself and you know, like really deal with everyday stress. Another thing that I like to do is just to take some time and to create a spa home night for me because like an in-home spa experience, I did do a video on that earlier this year maybe toward the end of last year, but I will definitely link it up in the cards for you. But I think having those things, it was one of the greatest investments that I did was, you know, purchasing like a facial steamer, things to do my pedicure so that I could soak my feet and just like really taking my spa experiences at home up a notch, right? Um, it just really makes you feel like, oh, I'm taking my time, I'm loving on me, I'm taking some time to take care of me, right? Because so many times, many times we get caught up in all the things that we have to do, all our to-do lists, that we forget that we should be a priority on that to-do list as well. So leveling up my at-home spa experience and just taking the, the time to have that at-home spa night, you know, it's just, it's amazing and it makes you feel so relaxed and you sleep like a baby afterwards. The thing that I like to do is to switch up the aesthetic. Yes, like change up my aesthetic. Like right now, we're rocking like this, kind of like, it's not like ginger. It's not red, it's ginger. Like a ginger color uh, hair. And I, I really think it's just an instant, like, you know, sometimes you get, wait a minute. Oh, please. Sometimes you get really caught up in the day-to-day, -day, the grind, the hustle and the bustle that you, you know, you neglect yourself, right? Or you don't take as much time as you should. So just taking the time to be like, I'm gonna carve out this time to take care of me. I'm going to focus and invest in me, whether that's getting my hair done, getting my nails done. And I always tell my good, good friends and my husband, like sometimes you just need your hair done. Sometimes you just need a haircut. Like that's all you need sometimes to just be like, oh. you know, you look at me like, yeah, she is still cute. Yeah, she is still fine. <laughs> you need to just instantly just like uh, lift up your mood and yeah like taking that time and setting that time and making it a priority a lot of times we make everything else a priority but making that a priority the thing that i like to do is to 
take some time and uh, more okay so more with the change of changing up your aesthetic meaning like you know getting getting yourself spruced up but also decluttering because i can't tell you how many times you're like holding on to things right and they mean you no use like you don't use them whether that's clothing and you're like i go in my closet i never reach for this i haven't worn it so why am i holding on to it and i'm not talking about like your special occasion dresses and things like that because i keep that in a separate space in my closet but i'm talking about things that are meant to be worn on a more regular basis and you just literally never reach for them right Get it out of your closet. Declutter your space. Clean up your space. It's gonna make you feel a world of, you know, like, you know, freedom. It's, it's so freeing and you get rid of it and it's just like, it's not in the way and you make room for the new. So yeah, that's, that's something I like to do too. Decluttering and cleaning up my space. I know that, you know, a clean environment, and I'm not talking about like, you know, like, well, yeah, like you don't want your space to be dirty, but a cluttered environment can, you know, is a symptom or it's a manifestation of a cluttered mind. Clean, clean up your space, clear your mind. You see, you see how they go together? Another thing that I like to do just for some self care is to schedule some girl time or schedule some time with friends or just, you know, spend the time with my mom. Like my mom is one of my best friends. I talk to her a lot. But just having that one-on-one -on -one time we can chill and talk but also having that time with my girlfriends where we can just chill and talk and laugh one of the things that um i've been doing recently is just like me and my um friend we've been talking about like shows that we enjoy and i'm like oh i found a good one check this one out and then we can chat and discuss i enjoy things like that i really do enjoy that because I've been told about shows that otherwise I might not click on myself, but I'm like, okay, let me give this a try. And then I watch it, I'm like, oh, that's actually very interesting. I don't think I would have ever chosen that. So like having good people around you, people that you can talk to, that support you, that genuinely want to see you win, like that is like, that is like a cheat code in life. So having those people around you that wants to push you and propel you to the next level, it's gonna make you feel good. And also they're going to expand your horizons, right? So, I mean, obviously like a TV show is one example, but they're gonna open you up to new experiences and new things that you may not otherwise know about. So yeah, having good people around you is definitely a cheat code. Thing that I like to do is to just make a warm cozy meal. I'm a tea girly. I've talked about this over and over again. I love drinking a good cup of tea. Like, you know, some people are like, oh, I just want to go home and I want to relax. I want to get a nice glass of wine. For me, it's a nice cup of tea, right? But I enjoy that. And then just fixing a good meal, something I can just like, just throw my energy into, right? Making something from scratch. It just really gives you time to just like see something come to fruition with your own hands and it's so therapeutic, it's so relaxing and I would suggest that you do that as well. As always, self-care is very personal. It's really doing the things that you care about, right? And doing, carving out space to do that. Like I said, a lot of times we get so overwhelmed and we get so overstimulated and then we're like, ah! <laughs> Because life is life and, and making sure that you spend that time or you carve out that time just to take care of you is so important. So yeah, those are my tips and those are my self-care things that I like to do when I'm feeling like, ah. <laughs> when I'm feeling that way, I hope you found this video helpful. While you're here, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Also, Go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of the family. It would really truly mean that much to me. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, join the family so we can come back and we can chat about more stuff. And if you haven't seen my latest video, I did do a vlog. I did my like prep with Thanksgiving and you know, the week leading up to Thanksgiving. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave that up in the cards for you. Also, 
go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I think I said that, but go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so we get out to more eyeballs, we get out to more people, and we can grow the family because we definitely want to do that. But thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Take care.